Let's get started with continuous integration and delivery with TeamCity and Octopus Deploy. So what is continuous integration? Normally in software companies, there are multiple teams or multiple developers that get the code from a main source code repository, they make changes on it, and then they push or commit their changes back to the main source code. And the problem in here is that we want to make sure when a developer makes changes to the code and they push it back to the source code repository, they are not going to break the code. And also we want to make sure that as developers make changes, we can deploy these changes to different environments so they can be tested because as you know in agile teams and in agile methodology we want to fail fast we want to know that if there is a problem fairly quickly so in continuous integration we have this opportunity that as developers make changes we get the changes and then once a change is detected by the continuous integration tool, which in our case is TeamCT, that continuous integration tool or TeamCT compiles the code and creates a package and then we can deploy that package to different environments. We also have the option to run unit tests automatically and we can check the code quality as we will see uh, in the course later. So what is continuous delivery? In continuous delivery, software is built and deployed in short cycles because as I said, in Agile, we always want to build the code and the software in short cycles so that first, if there is an issues, we know that quickly and fast, and also we can deliver value to the customers. And also software is continually deployed to different environments. For example, as I make a change in the code, my code gets compiled with TeamCT and then it gets pushed to, for example, a dev environment where as a developer, I can check my own code and make sure that what I've done basically works. And then it can automatically go to testing environment where the testing team can test the code or the artifact of the code it can go automatically to pre-production environment so that potentially our clients can test it and then it can go to the production environments and also continuous delivery ensures that only tested and approved packages get delivered to the production environments or basically to the end users because if we test a code artifact or a package and then we go and make extra changes to the code and then we compile that changed code and deploy it, then basically testing is invalid and we may deploy changes that haven't been tested. So with continuous delivery, we make sure that the package that comes in gets tested and deployed and there is no change in between. So what is TeamCT? There are many different continuous integration tools. TeamCT is not the only one, but TeamCT is a really good one. It's a very popular one for many reasons. One of them is that it's very powerful and virtually you can compile any code. There is no limit as to what technology you can use or what type of programming language you can use with it. It's very flexible and it's very user-friendly. You don't need to do a lot of scripting in TeamCT. A lot of the things you do with TeamCT, they are done via menus and forms so it's very user friendly specifically for those who are not expert at setting up CICD Team City is very easy to use you can install it on both Windows and Linux based machines what is Octopus Deploy? Again, Octopus Deploy is not the only continuous deployment tool. There are many tools such as Azure DevOps. However, Octopus Deploy is extremely flexible. You will see through the course that you can do almost everything with Octopus Deploy. It supports all sorts of scenarios. It's quite easy to use and you can use it for deployment to both Windows and Linux based operating systems. So what is the whole thing I'm going to cover in this course? This diagram basically is from Octopus Deploy's website. It's not something I have drawn. So credit to Octopus Deploy. Imagine that you are going to compile some .NET code, for example. You maintain your code in a source code repository such as GitHub, and then developers make changes to the code. And when TeamCT detects these changes, it compiles the code and creates a package or a release and pushes it to Octopus Deploy. Now, Octopus Deploy can deliver it to a developer 
development environment and automatically deployed for example to an IIS website so developers can make sure that what they have done makes sense and then Octopus Deploy can push it to testing environments so testers can test it and then once it's signed off it can be pushed to production environments so this is the workflow we are going to cover in this course so before we start i just have to explain what's the course format the course has four sections the first one is team city level one where you can learn how you install team city how you create projects how you compile your code and build packages basically a lot of devops engineers and developers want to quickly learn team city so that they can deploy it and start it in their team or company they don't have time to go through like 50 hours of videos so they need to come up to speed fast and team city level one brings you up to speed fast. Likewise, we have Octopus Deploy Level 1. This is where you learn how you grab the packages from TeamCT and then how you deploy it to different environments. Then we have TeamCT Level 2, which covers the advanced features of TeamCT. For example, you learn about cloud build agents and access management and all sorts of things. And then we will have Octopus Deploy Level 2, which likewise covers more advanced features. For example, how you can use variables in Octopus Deploy, how you control access and that type of features. So let's go and start learning about TeamCity.